beauty is the only option. Hey, what's up, my little M&Ms? It's Cematics, bitch. <laughs> you're probably used to only seeing me in drag if you're only subscribed to this channel and not my original channel, Cematics, bitch. And you're probably wondering why is Claudio on Maddox's channel? And the reason why is because I'm going to review this lace front wig that I have on right now as a boy. <laughs> and the reason why I have it on as a boy is because when I originally got this wig, it's called A. Marie by Free Trust Equal, was back in like October-ish, even before then, I, maybe the end of September. But anyway... I got it in like a promotional deal from Elevate Styles. I was going to wear this to the Glammies, but when I tried it on with my Glammy dress and jewelry and in drag, I just did not like how it looked at all. I, it was so thin and I was just like, this is not a wig for a drag queen, especially going to an award show. I was just... So upset about it because I was like, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to have black hair. It's going to be straight because I never do straight hair one. And I, I usually never do black hair unless it's my big fall ponytail. And I tried it on and it looked terrible because in drag, everything is exaggerated. And then you have this flat hair on. It just does not work. <laughs> And then I was going to add hair to it, but then I decided that I got this wig in a promotion. Like, adding hair to it would just be stupid because the hair that I would be adding to this wig would be worth more than the actual wig. <laughs> so I decided against that. And then the other day I was cleaning my room and I was like, oh, I forgot I had this. And then I just like threw it on being silly. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh my god, it actually kind of looks cute as a boy. So I decided to do a review here for you today of Lil Miss A. Marie. So stay tuned. Okay, so the wig today that I am reviewing is by Free Trust Equal. It's a lace front, no glue, no tape necessary. Future, Futura, <laughs> I can never say that. Futura fibers, you can heat it up to 400 degrees. And it's in a color one. Here's the little, the lady. You know I love these girls. Usually they look angry. She's actually really pretty, this one. So, we're here with Miss A. Marie. And I already cut the lace off because, like I said in the beginning, I had already tried her on and I was going to wear her, but she didn't work out. So, she has the regular hard lace I already cut off. She has two clips in the front, the regular weft wig inside, a clip in the back, the adjustable straps. But she's actually, I actually don't really need adjustable straps with her because she's kind of already form-fitting. So we're going to slip her on and see how... So I'm gonna just slip her on and see what's the deal. Okay, now, the reason why I do not like her in the first place is she, it's so thin. The hair is really soft, though. The hair is soft. It's kind of shiny, but it is soft. But because the hair is so thin, it looks like you have, like, a hump if you have hair under. She's really long, though. She's, like, 18 inches. And another reason is because she has virtually no parting space. Like, it's like half of an inch of parting space. This is Amory. This is how she looks. 
I mean, she's decent, but she's nothing to run home and slap your mother about. And I was kind of disappointed when I got her because I saw a couple of reviews about her on YouTube and everyone was like, oh, it's so cute, the hair is soft, I like it. And it actually looked good on camera, but when I got it, it was not what I thought it was going to be. But I do like that it has layers. It's like some 12, some 14, the longest is about 18. And so I like that, but this will never work for a drag look, for me, anyway. Like, no. It's not gonna happen. I tried her on in drag and she just looked atrocious. I j deleted the footage. I showed one of my friends and he's like, it doesn't look that bad. I'm like, I don't want to look not that bad. I actually feel like I should put on a hat or something. Rock her. You see, this is why I feel like I can rock her as a boy. <laughs> On those days where I feel like having... Oh, I can't stop touching the hair. The hair is really soft, though. When those days I don't feel like doing my hair, and I feel like having some long hair, I could plop on Miss A. Marie, a little hat, and give you some realness. <laughs> so this is her... Again, there's no glue, no tape. She fits pretty snug. I didn't even do the jawstrings like I usually do. Half an inch of parting space is not even worth talking about. The hair is thin. Look, I'll show you the back. See, like, all the hair is to the front. There's no hair in the back. But she's pretty long. Like, she goes all the way down my back, really. I mean, I could do this. I'll wear her as a boy. I'll definitely be wearing a Marie as a boy, never in drag. And I don't know if I would recommend it. I mean, if this is how you want to wear it, just like all to the front, like this, maybe with like a hat or something. It's a day you don't want to do your hair. This is a good, easy, fast, simple way to not have to do your real hair and just run out the door with a cute, straight, soft look. <laughs> but if you like fuller hair and you want some parting space in your wig, Amory is not for you. Let me try a different hat. Hold on. <laughs> See, I like this green hat and this green shirt together. And little Miss Amory. Oh, I'm actually really feeling this. <laughs> but let's see something else. Maybe if I just going for a little grunge look. Get your little scully cap on. Uh oh. That could work. Some winter realness. Oh. Winter realness. Really, I'm just having fun with her now because I'm definitely going to be wearing this as a boy. See how my different hats look. <laughs> I really like her now as a boy. Okay. So... We've discovered that Amory is not going to work for me in drag, but I do like her as a boy, all the hair to the front, with a hat on. I will be rock rocking her as such, but she's not going to work for me in drag. And like I said earlier, like it just wasn't worth adding hair to. It's just not worth it. <laughs> but thank you for watching. I hope this review helped you. And until next time, remember, beauty is the only option. And I did always have this rule, cover girl cannot cover boy. And it almost feels like they might be proving me